worship. I mentioned a while ago, Tim has got, uh, all these uh, young men have little boys. Uh, Tim has two uh, boys, uh, my grandbabies. Taylor's three and Ryan's a year old. This past year, uh, Tim took the kids. We live in, Tim and I live in Daytona Beach, Florida. And Tim's boys, my grandbabies, have never seen snow. They think that snow, they don't beat sand and snow. They don't have a clue. But this year, Tim flew them to Michigan, not Detroit, but up close, up to Flint this year to see a white Christmas. And uh, Tim's been telling me just before they left on the trip that uh, Taylor at Sunday school, again, he's three years old, they've been teaching Taylor, Don, that God lives in heaven and heaven's up above. Every time you ask Taylor, where's Jesus live? He says, he's in heaven and he'll point up. So Tim's telling me about the, they went to the airport, they're going to fly to Flint, and Taylor, being the little boy that he is, he gets on the plane, he wants to sit next to the window and look out, so Tim let him do that. Tim said he was fine during the taxi, and they took off, and he was all excited about it and looking down on the clouds, and he, a little while they passed out them honey roasted nuts, you know, them eagle honey roasted nuts, that's worth the trip, isn't it? And the Cokes and all that, Taylor's all excited about that. And Tim said about, about 40, 45 minutes into the flight, they hit a real bad turbulence. The plane just violently shook and boom, really sh shook. And it scared Tim. And he looked over at Taylor and Taylor's eyes was great big. And he was trying to comfort him. He said, Taylor, he said, what happened? He's real sad. He said, Daddy, I think we just won over God. <laughs> I don't, I've been telling him, Don, he's just fine. You know, he's, God's doing fine. And here's a song that my little grandbaby likes, and it's a, one of the neatest songs we do. It says this, nothing's too big for God. Yeah! Nothing's too big for my God. No, 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 no. Nothing's too big for my God. Not gonna be discouraged. Deeper than the deepest sea Stronger than a locomotive It's faster than a bullet speed yeah. Wiser than a man named Webster Eternal in deity Is he nothing too big for God? No impossibility well, nothing's too big for my God be discouraged I'm not gonna be depressed well, nothing's too big for God and I mean his rest never has there been a problem bigger than my God could solve never has there been a question baffled in the mind of God when he has given us the power to rise above our enemy I said nothing's too big
Well, how'd you like that one? That's a good song. And I want to I wanna take the opportunity to, to share. Christians don't gossip. We share. And so I, I wanted to share something with you. Um, that, that song gets down and, and, or gets up or something. It really goes. But uh, we've got a, a relatively young group. Uh, I say relatively because I think everybody up here, you know, I have to look at the stage. You can know what I mean by when I say relatively. But uh, <laughs> George, I think, mentioned, I don't know if he'd mentioned this, he used to sing with the Cathedral Quartet. Uh, they're just a small part-time group struggling to make it. Um, you keep praying for them. I think they'll do all right. Uh, George sang with the cathedrals all during the 70s. And uh, so back then when he was with the cathedrals, Glenn and George, you know, were the old men in the group. George was the young man in the group. Well, uh, times change, and uh, so do people. And George is a little bit um, older now, a lot heavier, or a lot, a lot older and a little heavier. And uh, anyhow, I'm, be, I'm getting myself in trouble here, but I'm going I'm really I'm to finish this up. Anyhow, um, what I want to tell you is this. We used to travel in a big bus, and uh, for economical reasons, we decided to go to a van and a trailer. So that's what we travel in now. And it's not near as comfortable, but it's a lot more economical, if you know what I mean. And so one of the things that, you, uh, that goes along with traveling in a van and trailer, you have to get motel rooms when you're on the road. So when we started out, uh, we decided that we're really going to save money. We're going to get one room. We're all going to share. And we're really going to make this thing work. You know, we're brothers in Christ, and uh, we love each other. <laughs> We love each other. Well, we now get two rooms. Uh, and we have what we call a snoring room and a non-snoring room. And now, I don't, I don't want to point fingers or name names, but Brian and I sleep in the non-snoring room. And so we, what we have, we have, a, we have a true professional here. And then his son is an amateur, but he's working his way up real well. I, He's got a good teacher. He's learning well. So I just, I just want you all to remember Brian and I in your prayers every night. When you go to bed, we may not get to sleep near as soon as you do. Thank you. Just remember it.